Hi Aquarius, what's up y'all? Happy Sunday. I hope y'all are doing amazing. So I decided to pop in with a reading because I won't be posting tomorrow and I wanted to give you your weekly reading. So let's see what the week ahead looks like for the Aquarius Collective. I was hearing the ice cream truck song. I don't know if it's universal, but I don't want to try to butcher it, but it's like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. I was hearing that song. So I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe somebody has an ice cream truck coming through their community right now or today, or maybe somebody's craving ice cream. Ice cream came out for somebody else. I don't remember who it was. It might have been Cancer. It might have been Leo. It might have been Virgo. Somebody could live in New York or New Orleans. Somebody's initials could be G and B or CC. Okay, we have loyalty. Number 13. 13 is the Scorpio, um, the energy of Scorpio. We have off the books. Scorpio energy, and that's the death card. So I wonder if you have stopped being loyal to someone. Maybe they didn't deserve it. Hmm. The death card. So Big Pun, I'm paying homage to Big Pun for his birthday today. Scorpio energy. He is a Scorpio. And he has Cuban Link. Didn't Cuban Link recently pass away? I think he did. And I know that's Erica Mena. I believe that's Erica Mena's uh, son's father, her oldest son's father. So I wonder if somebody lost somebody here. Maybe you lost somebody that was very loyal to you. Let me just look him up because I believe that he did just recently pass away. Oh, I guess I got to say rapper because they show me jewelry, y'all. <laughs> Oh, no, I didn't kill somebody off and they ain't even dead. Lord, forgive me. Okay, so it's somebody from Terror Squad that just passed away. I'm not crazy. I think he was the founding. Who is Erica Mena's? Let me look him up. Because I know he just passed away. So I guess I just got him mixed up with one of the other members. Somebody, Con Raul Condi? Okay, he died November 22nd, 2023. Oh, I thought he recently passed. Okay, I don't know why I went off on that tangent because that didn't have anything to do with anything. Or maybe it did and I just don't know. So maybe that means something to somebody here. I don't know. But the death card, loyalty. So maybe you're no longer being loyal to someone. Yeah, scandal. Number 18, which is the moon. Somebody lied to you. Somebody was deceptive in your energy, so you cut off your loyalty. You are a fixed sign. We are known for our loyalty. And so, yeah, this feels like you used to be loyal to somebody, but you're not anymore because you found out they were hiding something from you or they were being deceptive, secretive, sneaky about something. Could be a Cancer, could be a Pisces, could be a Scorpio, okay? You could be born on the 13th or the 18th or those numbers could mean something to you. Okay, so we have here rejuvenation, number 54. Somebody's name could be Nathan or Nathaniel. Um, and then we have discernment, number 57. Yeah, so it, it feels like Spirit is telling you to trust your instincts when it comes to something, someone. You made the right decision if you've cut somebody off. If you're going back on that in your head, don't because you made the right choice. So we have destruction of environment, number 23. And then we have submission to a higher order number 33 which is, which is the master teacher number so something around you has been destroyed and it was in divine order god was in control of something being destroyed here it was meant to teach you a major lesson it was not meant to it's like basically what what didn't kill you made you stronger but something around you was destroyed or is being destroyed this week for your highest good. We have ignorance, number 53, because maybe you are not aware of it. And then we have reconciliation. Hmm. I am seeing maybe somebody here wants to go back on a promise they made to themselves. Like I'm done with something or someone and maybe feeling tempted by it or someone trying to test you to see if you're really done with them. This is not a good idea to go backwards. We have fanaticism and hypocrisy, number 29. Yeah. Don't do it. And then we have divine forgiveness. You can forgive someone, but it's time for you to withdraw. Number nine is the hermit card. It's best for you to get the spiritual lesson from it. Be enlightened. Let this person be a teacher and move on. It could be a Virgo person. Okay. Yeah, this person is like a walking contradiction. Somebody could be 29, born on the 29th, the 9th. 
any of these numbers I said. Okay, so we have here divine power, number four, and we have refuge. Yes, yeah, so you have spiritual protection around you. Spirit is telling you to sit this one out, number 12. That is basically taking one for the team. That's martyrdom. That's taking yourself out of the equation, understanding that you have to make a sacrifice. Somebody in your energy is like trying to sacrifice you. I don't like it. So I'm saying Aries Pisces energy here. That could just be that you are on the um, Aquarius Pisces cusp or you have either of those in your chart. Yeah, it's like something that you don't see. You have your back turned to this person trying to reconcile with you. It could be a Sagittarius. Bottom of the deck, we have slavery and we have unnatural passions. Yeah, this person, somebody is a slave to unnatural passions. You might be dealing with somebody with really, really bad addictions. Yeah, it says vice. They have addictions. Michael, Ronald, mm -mm, Keyshawn, Kirk. I don't know, y'all, but just be, be very leery of reconciling with anybody this week because somebody's intentions are to sacrifice you. Now, I don't know what that means, but they, they're not coming with good intentions. I'm seeing a Chime commercial one. Chime gives me a notification, a, a phone call, a text message. Something's going to come through. They could even do something nice for you. Somebody is sending money here, $500. Don't be, don't be swayed by any of that. Mm-mm. Somebody's not coming with good intentions this week, and you're going to have to be aware of it. Let's see who these people are or this person is. They could even be wanting money. Look, it says, can I borrow $100 on the TV as soon as I said that, y'all? <laughs> yeah, be mindful. Bridget is here. So we have the Six of Swords solution. Aquarius, this is your energy. This is you moving forward. You have the key to move forward, move to calmer waters. You already know what the solution is. You already know. You can't make it up. The Ace of Swords. You have clarity. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy. You're on the right path because somebody is not genuine. Aquarius energy. It could be another Aquarius. Wearing a mask. Sneaky. Selfish. We have planning. The Four of Wands. This is you planning for your future. And this person just lost you and there's nothing they can do about it. It could be a Scorpio or a Gemini. Somebody that's worried about you choosing a different path. Could be an Aries. Five of Wands. There's conflict. They want to fight. This person could be calling you from jail. That's been coming out a lot today. But you have a spirit guide here. The King of Cups. Scorpio. That's a spirit guide. Six of Cups. What did I say? A commitment that you made to yourself. You're being told to stick to it. Stick to it. You have to. You absolutely have to. Because there's somebody that's coming in... That's not right. And I'm going to just leave it at that. They're not right. Keep your plans. We have horse and carriage. That means move forward. That's the that's the chariot. Yeah, move forward. Camper on horse and carriage. He is an Aquarius too. So, yeah, you got to keep it moving. How does song go? It's just the song that says Senorita. Why is there no sound? Hold on, y'all. I can't get the um, Senorita, Hey Mama Sita. Is that the song? We're gonna ride. I can't tell y'all. Horse and carriage is the uh, is the chariot though, and that means to move forward. We got Charlie Baltimore in there. I can't get the lyrics because I don't want to get a copyright strike. So y'all know that song. Let's get into, I'm, I'm using the wrong cards. Let's get messages from your angels. You had a spirit guide show up. All right, we have April. What are your hopes and watch them start to bloom? Planting, nurture, and blossom. Some of you could be pregnant by somebody that you regret being pregnant by or already have a child with them. Somebody's name could be April. Somebody, um, something could have happened in the month of April. Maybe you got pregnant in April, even if it wasn't this April. So what would that mean? If you got pregnant in the month of April, your baby would be born 10 months later. So that's like a baby. Oh, you might have a, a baby that's an Aquarius or I mean, you know, babies can be born prematurely too, but your baby could be an Aquarius. Your baby could be a Pisces. Your baby could be a Capricorn. So we have heart and knots. Unsure about your partner, emotionally confused and mixed signals. Mm hmm. Some of you had high hopes for someone, but I feel like you see through them now. It could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're evolving and you're unavailable. 
Oh, you're dealing with somebody. Yeah, you're walking away from someone. It says being done, relationship ending, lessons learned. Because somebody's heart ch chakra is blocked. Struggles with intimacy, aloof, emotionally aloof, and dating other people. So you may be starting to date someone new. And this card says you're evolving. What you want changes as you get more experience. Growth cycles and leveling up. You've outgrown them. Yeah, this is why you're planning for the future. Mm -hmm. You want something solid. You want something stable. You're thinking about the long term. I got to hear this song, y'all. Oh, they just switched it now. And they got Silk the Shocker rising. That's terrible. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get into it. The truth, judgment. You call judgment, you learned a lesson about a situation. This week is all about you sticking to your guns, though. Because I really do feel like this is about you saying, all right, I walked away or I'm already planning to walk away. And I already started taking the steps to walk away. But you might be tempted to turn back around. It says, I'm sure about your partner, emotionally confused. Passion ignited. This is a new relationship, maybe with a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius. Or this is somebody trying to come back in and, and lure you back to them with sex. Okay? Wearing this mask. They might be very tempting, very attractive. And then we have foundation and achievements. The four of wands. You're graduating past this person. You're evolving. This is coming out to clarify evolving. That's Aries energy. Bottom of the deck, we have suffering and silence. The nine of swords. Some of you are dealing with an air sign. Another air sign. Discontent and bored. Heart, heart chakra. Somebody's heart chakra is blocking. You're tired of waiting for them to get it together. A Taurus, a Libra, Capricorn. Didn't mean to say Capricorn, so it might be. Um, I'm seeing a Cancer and I'm seeing a Gemini here. Yeah, moving forward. Positive movement forward. The eight of wands. Force and garage. Time to get moving. That's the second uh, fastest card after the chariot in the tarot deck. I'm going to put these away and we're going to move on to my own oracle cards and some tarot. And then we are going to let you go. All right, Spirit, what do you have here for my Aquarian? Somebody could have messed with a um, sex worker behind your back. We have dead end, the tower, Scorpio, Aries energy, inevitable doom, failure, doomed, fragile connection, shaky ground, accepting and ending and letting go. Mm -hmm. We have divine downloads. Listen to your intuition because it's been telling you all along that somebody wasn't right. You could definitely be on the Aquarius Pisces cusp or have cancer or Pisces in your chart. Trust your gut instincts. We have cabal, a clique, a secret society, plot, mystic mysticism, a small group collaborating and plotting in the shadows, powerful sinister forces, the hidden hand, pulling the strings and calling the shots. What is this? Somebody's into something dark. Spiritual lesson. Okay, yeah. Like I said, you learned your lesson here. Some of you have been linked to somebody who doesn't serve the same God that you serve. And it's as simple as that. I'm not going to belabor the point. It's very plain and simple to see. They're into dark stuff. We have security systems. Some of you need to get your security system because this person is not right. They're not wrapped tight. And we have core beliefs, the magician. So this is all about the inner monologue. What did I say to you? Some of you are going to start wavering on a decision that you made. Okay, so... Um, Spirit is telling you, you have all the resources within you. Even if you feel like you need this person, you don't need this person. We have postpartum healing. Somebody just had a baby, um, just gave birth, newborn, new mom, postpartum depression, or they could have had a baby with somebody else. I don't know. We have cheap. Somebody is cheap. The four of pentacles, it can be cheap. We have a fire sign is involved. I feel like that's your new person. Life is not a sprint. It's a marathon. Find your happy medium. Pace yourself. Do things in moderation. This is about healing. Slow and steady wins the race and do it in baby steps. Sagittarius energy. And you got a snake in the grass showing up as the seven of swords, which is already here. Hidden danger. Tricks to spirit. Cunning. Fake friend. False person. Con artist. Sneaky. Selfish. Thief. Spy. What you don't know can hurt you. I'm going to read this last one. It says there's more than meets the eye. Get to the bottom of things. You're in harm's way. It's a dangerous situation and you are being warned. Do not go backwards. Only move forward. That's it. It's a dead end. It's a number 10. And a magician is the number one, which means you have the ability to start over by yourself. This person was just a spiritual lesson. We have the two of wands. Choice and planning. I know what is right and best for me. With I live my life with purpose. The Knight of 
pentacles which is slow and steady wins the race as well conservative efficiency this is you being a late bloomer this is you taking a scenic route this is you being hesitant to make a decision here but you know something has ended and you have to accept it i told y'all a couple weeks ago last week the week before like the damage is done all you can do is just pick up the pieces and move on with your life and i see it again the cabal is the six of pentacles so there's some money transferring hands in a situation you scratch my back i scratch yours this is quid pro quo Y'all know that term in the legal um, system. This is like maybe somebody selling you out. I don't like this person at all. You see this gift and instantly I got the message about Superhead. I know y'all know when she said she was giving to, given to uh, P. Diddy as a gift, right? Um, after he broke up with Jennifer Lopez, Ja Rule gifted her to him because Ja Rule was sleeping with her. Everybody was sleeping with her. But understand, you know, this is Taurus energy. I'm getting here that this is like somebody here handing over a gift that doesn't, it's strings attached to this gift. You can see the string right there. There's strange, strings attached. And I feel like your person has, I don't know, man. I don't know what they've done. It could be a Taurus. It could be a six-year relationship. I, let's see. What is the spiritual lesson? The world. I live in harmony with a diverse world. Completion and integration. Well, Somebody here is caught up in worldliness because sometimes that's how I read the world. And I feel like you have closed this cycle. You've learned a spiritual lesson. This is closure and completion to a chapter of your life, a cycle. Feeling so good is on by Jennifer Lopez, Big Pun, and Fat Joe. You're feeling better now that you closed this cycle because you've learned a spiritual lesson. Your person here, somebody gave them, there's some money that changed hands here. And it has something to do with something spiritual. There were strings attached though. They could have just aligned themselves with the wrong person. Security system is the Ace of Pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Manifestation and opportunity. I rejoice in abundant possibilities. Yeah, so you know, this is actually like a really stable connection. Building on a solid ground. This person that you're attracting is a secure bet. Some of you also need to invest in a security system. Okay, you need to take the money and do it. All right, and then we have the King of Pentacles. Yes, you're attracting possibly a Taurus here. This is somebody reliable, practical practical relationship ready looking for a long term business owner this is a person who could be a self-made businessman a magician is self-made and then we have the sun this is you being happy walking away from somebody and being happy this week okay success and vibrancy as spirit and expression i move through my life boldly and joyfully mm -hmm. there's a gravitational pull something is pulling you away from someone who doesn't deserve you this is leo energy you got leo in your chart it could be a leo that's coming towards you that is your sister sign so that would make absolute sense i do feel like it's a fire sign i think water sign energy came out too but i feel like the strong fire sign all right jennifer lopez is a leo and i just said she was on the tv so it could be a leo feeling so good that is the sun okay Somebody taking you shopping. She's shopping, getting a lot of bags. And you know, Leo people are known, Leo men in particular, they do like to spoil their partners. So yeah. All right, y'all. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And I will see you all next time. Peace.